Okay, listen, as an ex web designer and current marketing lover, uh, I get all up in my feels. I get all up in my feels about people's websites not being designed or set up in a way to convert to sales. See, your website needs to convert to sales. <laughs> and I feel like that shouldn't be a weird thing, but for some reason it is. For some reason people like don't think about their website and how it needs to like actually sell their things for them. And this is the case whether you're selling digital products, courses, your own one-on-one -on -one services, if you're selling sponsorship packages to sponsors as a creator, like it doesn't matter, your website needs to set up to be a thing that converts to sales. So let's talk about six ways to do that so that hopefully you can leave this video and go fix these things and be like, wow, Jessica, you're so right. And then you start making sales because that's the dream. This video is sponsored by HubSpot. More on them in a minute. What is up y'all? Hey, howdy, hey. Welcome back to my channel. I am pumped that you are here. It has been a minute, a hot minute since I've talked about website stuff. Uh, if you don't know, my background is in web design. I used to be a web designer from 2010 to 2016 ish. And then I kind of transitioned from that to this like teaching role, but trust me, I've still kept my fingers in the web design pot. Um, and I still am very passionate about this subject. All right. So these are six things you need to do to make sure your website converts to sales. And the number one thing y'all, the number one thing is that people need to know how to buy from you within the first 10 seconds of being on your website. For physical products, digital products, things like that, it might be that there's a shop button at the top or that there is a shop, like a list of things they can buy from your shop somewhere on the website really easily and quickly. For those of you who are coaches and selling like a, one specific course or you're doing a lot of, it, it needs to be on the homepage. Like you need to be like, hey, buy this thing from me. It's really awesome. Within 10 seconds of landing on your website and hopefully less, people need to know how to buy from you. Hands down, 100%, the number one thing I can say. It shouldn't just be this like, here I am and I'm amazing kind of website. It should be a here I am and here's how you can work with me kind of website. Now, sometimes websites do this automatically because if it's a physical product or if it is something where like the website was designed just for the thing you're selling, of course it's going to be the case. But if you are someone who's a creator or a coach or something like that, this comes less naturally to us. And so what you want to do is make sure that very quickly people can be like, I want to buy from you. Now I would use my website as an example here. Um, and I will a little bit, but I will say my website is in a transition right now. Um, and isn't quite where I want it to be, nor is it something that we should be modeling ourselves over at this second, but I will show you my website and then I'll use someone else's website and kind of show you on theirs. So here's mine. Um, obviously there's like start here, there's shop right there, like within two seconds of being on my website, you see shop and you see courses and templates and toolkits and trainings and bundles, right? Um, you have work with me again, right here at the top. Then if you'll scroll down, um, I actually have like some of my courses listed out down here at the bottom. So you can take some of my courses or shop my digital products. And again, this is in a state of flux. Um, so those will be closer to the top later and you'll understand why I'm doing this with my website in a little bit, but, still pretty quick to figure out how you can buy from me and how you can work with me, right? I'm gonna pull up this website, The Copy Posse. I was actually just recently like made aware of Alex and The Copy Posse. She has a great YouTube channel and her website is amazing. She's an amazing copywriter, but look, look, okay. Right here at the top, it's her birthday. Get $17,000 in bonuses with the launch files. Like literally the very top of the website. Then as you scroll down, you can get on her email list. You can learn more about this thing that she's doing, which is the launch files. Um, you can explore her programs really easily, see testimonials, like buy merch, all of these things all really, really quickly on the website because that's so freaking important. The next thing that you have got to do is you've got to optimize for SEO. Y'all, this is so freaking important. So important. So many people, like don't do this. So many people don't think about this, whatever. And let me tell you the amount of times I've went to the internet and searched for something that I should be finding people's websites for. And I don't is a lot. 
If you don't know what SEO is, it is search engine optimization and your website should be heavily optimized for SEO. Like if somebody goes to the internet and searches for the thing you do, ideally they should find you and they should find your business. Like this should never be a thing that's like not normal. SEO is a huge deal and you can make it better by blogging and things like that, but you can also make it better by using the right kind of software to build your website. Now, when I first got started, WordPress was like the only way to like really hammer in the SEO and they're still really awesome. However, there are now tools like the CMS hub in HubSpot that also heavily push and heavily optimize for SEO along with a lot of other things that you can use for free and really freaking easily, way easier than I could have done when I first started. And actually, that brings me to talk about today's sponsor, HubSpot. Again, having a website platform that's built for SEO is so freaking important. And content and creating content is like the key to making all of that work. So I've got to show off HubSpot's free CMS hub. If you're wondering what CMS is, it stands for Content Management System. And it's basically a website builder that has all of this built in. You can get started on it for free and get access to features like drag and drop page editing, AI content assisting, SEO recommendations, memberships, e-commerce, premium hosting and security, and so much more. Y'all, ugh. I say this so much, but I so wish stuff like this was a thing when I started. You're so lucky if you're just now getting started with all this because holy moly. Actually, let me show you how easy it is to build a website. Like we're gonna do it together right here, super fast. So if I just click get started free here on the actual thing, I can actually just sign up with Google or my email, whatever I wanna do. And then I just kind of pick my industry and tell it a few things about me. Okay, so it's getting my account ready now and I wanna build a business website. Let's just say I'm like exploring a business idea. So I just browse themes and they have a ton of free themes so you can get one that looks the way you want it to look which I think is really freaking cool. Okay, we're just gonna pick this one and install and it's gonna install it on there for us like super easily. And then it has all of these theme templates built in so I can go ahead and set up my contact page and my about page and my home page and like all of this stuff, right? And so let's just say that we wanna do the about page. We're gonna select this template and it will walk you through like fixing it if you want to, but literally all you have to do is use their AI content assistant um, like it's showing you here and drag and drop and get things started. So I'm just gonna hit no thanks on that one, but literally it's a drag and drop system. So if I want to change the words on this, this is how I do it. And I can do all of that. I can go up here and obviously change the photo to be an image of me. I'm just gonna use a recent thumbnail because it was close. Um, but now it's an image of me. I can scroll down, I can edit all of this, I can do all of these things, and I can do all of this like super freaking easily. Like there's no, you don't need to know code, you don't need to know all of that stuff. And what's even cooler is that when you go to start creating content on this website, you can use the AI content assistant to create SEO heavy content on the website so you can be found. This is a freaking game changer. Again, I say this all the time, but I so wish tools like this would have been a thing when I first started because they make the whole thing work easier. Like you can have a drag and droppable website that also is heavy on SEO and gets you found in search and helps you create content with its content assist robot thing. <laughs> it couldn't be freaking easier. If you wanna try out HubSpot's CMS Hub for free today, click the link in the description to get started. And thank you HubSpot for sponsoring this video. All right, third thing that you wanna to do to make sure your website converts to sales is have pop-ups and things like that on your website that promote sales and opt-ins and all of that stuff. So earlier you saw me show the copy posses website and at the top she had like a bar that was like, hey, I'm doing a sale, blah, blah, blah. At the top of my website, I have a bar where I can do that type of thing. But also you can use tools like Hello Bar to set up pop-ups no matter what kind of software you're using to build your website. And if you're using something like WordPress, there are plugins to help you do this. Just, you have lots of options, but something that pops up in people's faces and reminds them about a sale or what they can buy from you or some kind of list building thing is going to be a game changer when it comes to making all of this work together. Okay, fourth way to convert to sales. 
Have you ever been wanting to buy something, but you had a question, but it's like on a website. So in order to get your question answered, you have to like send an email or even go to Instagram and like DM somebody and it may be a while and then you're going to forget about it. Yeah. That's a whole thing. And it literally causes people to dip out super fast when they can't answer their questions or ask their questions. So you can have a direct chat on your website built to be able to help people answer their questions. And guess what? HubSpot has this too for free. So you can set up a way on your website for the chat to pop up when someone is on a certain page on your website or whatever, to be able to ask their questions and talk with a real person and get their questions answered on the spot so that your conversions don't fall off when they leave the page because they didn't have their questions answered. It's a game changer. Anytime I incorporate live chat like that on a sales page during a launch, my conversions go through the roof. Like people like to be able to talk to people to ask their questions and the easier you make it, the better. Fifth thing that's going to help you convert people to sales is to show proof of sales on your website. Y'all, this can be done in a ton of ways. This can be testimonials. So just showing testimonials of people who buy your things on a sales page, like having testimonials pop across the screen on a pop-up, like lots of ways to do this. But one of my favorite ways to do this is with something like proof. Now I actually don't use the proof software. I use a WordPress version of it and every different scenario of how you build your website is going to have a different way that you do this. But basically it's this cool little thing that pops up on the screen when someone's on your website showing that someone else has purchased something from you recently. So proof is really easy because you can set it up through them and they can like crawl your website for sales, especially if you're using something like Shopify or whatever, you can easily do this, but it'll just pop across and be like, Sarah in North Carolina bought ClickUp course five minutes ago. And that kind of thing popping across the screen is going to show potential customers, one, their options on what there is to buy because they're going to see what other people are buying, but two, that people are actually buying these things and they feel more comfortable and confident to actually buy them too. Again, proof is just one option to be able to do this, no matter how your site is built, you're going to be able to find a tool to be able to do this. But having this pop across is going to be a really big deal because people are then going to see that you actually are good for what you're trying to sell. And last, but definitely not least, and probably most obvious, but not obvious to most people is to actually have a way for people to buy from you on your website. What shock? Oh my gosh. You would be shocked. And how many times I go to websites and I can't figure out how to buy from somebody, or I can't figure out what course they sell, or I can't figure out how to do X, Y, or Z with them. Because for whatever reason, that has not been a thought up here. They're just thinking I'm going to sell and people are just going to know about it. I don't have to put it on my website. But a lot of times people are finding your website through social media or even search if you're doing your job right or whatever. And they are coming to your website to try and find the thing that they want to buy. And if you don't have it ready for them to buy, they can't buy it. So you can't convert to sales. This is most common on coaches and course creators websites that I see because it's like a showcase for them. Like their website is a showcase for them as a creator, as a coach or like whatever. And they don't think about like, oh, I need to list all my courses here. I need to have a page with all of my courses. I need to have my courses on the front page. I need to have a button for them to fill out a form to work with me as a coach. Like I need to have a button for them to buy my merch as a creator, whatever the scenario is, right? But like actually have a way for people to buy from you. It's, it's groundbreaking. I promise. Okay. So, um, I don't want to see no more. No more websites that don't do these things, y'all. No more websites that don't convert to sales. I want to see all the websites letting people know how they can buy from you, being SEO heavy, having pop-ups that promote sales and list building activities, having a direct chat, being able to show proof of sales and things that are really awesome and actually having ways for people to buy from you. I want to see all of that on your website. Okay. Don't care what you do. Do it. It's a thing. All right. So, um, that's all for me today. Thank you so much HubSpot for sponsoring this video. They have the CMS tools we talked about to be able to build your website in an SEO heavy way. They have the direct chat we talked about and they have so much more. So definitely check out HubSpot if you're just kind of getting started in this website business game. It will be a game changer. All right. And then um, until next time, bye y'all.